Well, it's time to bring it on with the email questions that you all have sent in. And Pat, this first one comes from Randy, who says, I just came out of my sixth relationship. All have ended due to my addiction issues, whether it's drugs, alcohol, gambling, or porn. I'm 50 years old and financially secure, but my life seems like it's getting worse. I've given my life to the Lord multiple times and I've been baptized, but I feel totally lost in my religious beliefs. I don't know where to turn or what to do. Nobody seems to care about me. How do I start living a life that matters this late in the game? Wow. Well, Randy, you're only 50, so you're not exactly an old man. You think you are, but you're not. Uh, you've got half your life ahead of you. I mean, if, a, if, if 100 is the standard and you're at 50, you're halfway. Uh, there's an awful lot you can do, but look, You've got an addicted personality. You addicted to porn. You're addicted to alcohol. You're addicted to drugs. And uh, you say, well, "What should I do?" Well, what you should do is stop. You know, I, I mentioned the fact that a habit to break a habit takes 21 days. Just 21 days. Just three cotton picking weeks. That's all it takes. You don't use drugs for 21 days. You don't drink alcohol for 21 days. You don't smoke cigarettes for 21 days. You don't watch porn for 21 days, whatever it is. And then little by little by little, you begin to live a life of the Lord. The Lord will help you. The Lord's with you, but he's given you free will. So exercise it. You know, Jesus got a, a man who was sick. He said, do you want to be healed? The guy was down there and, oh, nobody helps me. And when I try to get into the water, somebody gets ahead of me, and I can't quite make it, and oh, I'm so bad. And, and Jesus looked at him and said, stand up inside. Do you want to be healed? So that's the quote I give you. Do you want to be well, or do you want to keep on with this stuff and trying to look for excuses? Get with it. Stand up inside. Okay. And this is William who says, My family and I are going through a very hard financial time and we may be losing our house. I've been between jobs for the past four years and being a disabled vet does not help with the job search. I just spent the last $3 in my account on milk. I've been looking for work, but it seems nothing's coming through. We have lost everything and I don't know what else to do. Please help. Uh, I don't know enough about you, but I do know there are people that are helping disabled American veterans. There are agencies set up especially to help you, and you need help. If you were wounded in battle, uh, the country owes you something besides putting you out on the street. So I know the Veterans Administration is dysfunctional, but nevertheless, there are agencies that can help you, and you need to go immediately and ask for some kind of help. Uh, they will help you. There are people that will help you. The next thing, you know, are you looking for work, but what do you do? You may need job retraining. You, you may not have a skill that is marketable. There's so many jobs out there right now, jobs that need, need to get filled. And, uh, you can start, if you have to, flipping, flipping burgers, but you can find out something else. So there is work, and you need to go look for it, and you need to get maybe a, a training program where you have uh, additional skills. Okay. Okay, this is Angel Pat, who says, Dear Pat, with all the problems facing the world today, and even those facing our own country, I would like to know, if the United States was attacked by an organization like ISIS, would it be wrong for Christians to take up arms and fight against them? Well, of course not. That's uh, there's been uh, all through history. You know, people defend themselves. The right of self-defense is, is you know, inherent in all of the thoughts about what happens. The Bible says you shall not commit murder, but uh, action in war as part of an armed forces. And if you're, the nation is attacked by a radical group, uh, is it wrong to take up arms to fight against them? Of course not. I mean, you know, and the Bible says that. Those that wield the sword wield it not in vain, because they're ministers of God. So, you know, the Bible understands that there are armed forces, people in the armed forces, who are doing God's work. Okay, this is a viewer who says, My husband is currently not able to attend church with me and our children due to his current job. I've tried to make friends at a church for the past year, but I always feel like certain like certain women that I've met try to avoid me. I'm not obnoxious. I just want to say hello or possibly strike up a conversation. I can't help but think there's something wrong with me. I've wrestled with this my entire life. Even the pastor's wife and other ladies in leadership just seem like they don't like me. I don't know why. I barely know them. Please help me. I'm not looking for sympathy. I just want to know what's wrong with me and how to pray. 
uh, tell you what, start looking at Jesus. Start looking at Jesus and say, I want to please the Lord. I want to be like Jesus. But, you know, I've, I've run into people, and there's one guy I can think of particularly, and every time you got around him, you had a desire to kick him. I mean, <laughs> they, they were just, there was something about these people that they just draw uh, negative, and you're thinking negative thoughts. So start thinking positive thoughts and just start thinking love. I love you. I'm here with love. I'm love in my heart, and I love you. Instead of worrying about the fact that they don't like you, that you're, you're uh, 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 pariah, uh, if you have love and you just radiate joy, people will be drawn to you. But uh, there's apparently some negativity, and you're thinking negative thoughts. I, I know this sounds like psycho babble, but nevertheless, that's the truth. So what you need to do is to think positive thoughts and think love and let the Lord love you, and you love the Lord. And when you meet people, just think, I love you. So, okay. So... Good answer. So we love each other. Yeah. Yeah. It's, you know, really, you're, bat you're right. You're battling thoughts about yourself that are within you that you well, need to uh, you, you project negativity, you're going to drive people away. And there's something about people that think negative thoughts that drives people away. Mm -hmm. So think positive thoughts. Just think, oh, every time you, I love them, I love them, I love them, I'm going to be some, some way to help them. How can I help them? How can I serve? And watch what happens. There's always room for somebody who wants to serve. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's all the time we have for bringing on today, but we'll answer more of your questions next time.